Well, we're here at the new home, of course, of DJD, and we're joined by the executive director. Now, Kathy, first of all, congratulations. Oh, thank you, Erin. Yes, it's a dream come true. I was just going to yeah. say this is very exciting yeah. as we look out these beautiful windows on yes. the view of downtown. How long in the, in the making has this place been? Oh, well, these projects take a long time. Yes. <laughs> uh, there's no question. So our very first conversation with our partner in this project, the Cano Foundation, happened in the spring of 2005. Wow. So 11 years later, here we are. Here we are, and it's such an amazing space. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite part? Oh, I don't know if I can. I think, you know, how can you not beat these windows and the mirror and the, you know, the, the light and the wide open spaces? It's all just fantastic. And the, and the theater downstairs, Studio Two. So we have seven studios. Okay. We've gone from three studios and 10,000 square feet mm -hmm. to seven studios and 40,000 square feet. Amazing. We are over about six stories, six right. levels, and we've built this in conjunction with the Canoff Center for Charitable Activities. Right. Okay. So DJD is the bottom six Six floors mm -hmm. and above us are six floors of office, which will continue the mandate of the Canoff Center to rent to nonprofits at 75% of market. Amazing. And the Calgary Foundation will be moving in on the top two floors. So it's just a great synergy to have all these charities, to have DJD, and adding life to this area of the Beltline was very exciting to the city planners because there's lots of residential, mm -hmm. but you need things for people to do. You do, and when you talk about this space and and not only what it's allowing the city to be able to come and check mm -hmm. out, it's it's for you guys. What is this going to allow you as a company, as a business, to be exactly. able to do? Exactly. You know, we really challenge the architects to say, we want you to design something that brings dance to the street. Right. We want people to know that we're here. You know, our other facility, which we loved, mm -hmm. you know, it was little windows and you didn't really know what was going on inside. Right. But here you really know what's going on inside. It's a major corridor. So we'll benefit from those people that didn't know DJD existed. Right. Well, now no we do and also you know it's a home for DJD but we very much believe it's a cultural asset for the community so we will we have many partners that rent studios from us now for right. classes okay. and different types of rehearsal from children's tap groups to contemporary dance children's groups to we do a program with Parkinson's patients dancing oh, wow. with Parkinson's and and then studio two which doubles as a 230 seat theater mm -hmm. we have lots of interest in the community um, one yellow rabbit fluid festival the trouts are all interested in using our space. Which is a high performance thrilling. rodeo. I bet they totally. would love to take some of this totally. space. Totally. So many great synergies. Doesn't this room just make you want to dance? Yeah, We're in here without our shoes on. <laughs> well, Kathy, thanks so much for doing this thanks and congratulations. So much. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more from the brand new home of Decidedly Jazz Dance Works right after the break. Stay with us.